Hello friends, it's Andrea and this is my very first Illustrated Faith video that I get to share with you guys and I'm super excited to be on the creative team and I hope that we get to have a lot of fun together and I hope that you enjoy what I'm going to show you today. I am using uh, a song that's one of my very favorite Christian songs by Audio Adrenaline called Ocean Floor and um, I've just I've loved this song for so long and the the words mean um, you know something pretty profound so what I'm gonna do today is take um, the verse that that song is um, kind of derived from and um, we're gonna work in the Bible in the Bible a little bit and throw some words down on the page and see what happens. Okay, so we're working in Micah 7, verse 19, and I've um, looked up the lyrics to the song so that I can just write real quickly on um, my little scrap page those exact lyrics because that's the what we're going to work with. Um, and then I'm just pulling out some Bella Boulevard um, letters, stickers, um, labels, stuff that I know I want to, I want to use. And I want to go for a blue theme. So I'm really going to only focus on, um, different shades of blue. So I'm taking my ruler and I'm giving myself a starting point. So I know which words I want to be larger and then what words I'm going to have as being kind of like backup words. So I'm just giving myself a quick little starting point for some of the beginning words. Um, and then I'm using uh, a piece of plastic. It's basically um, packaging so that I can put all of my letters down on a clear surface so that I can move them around um, because I, I'm a little bit afraid to commit because I know the Bible pages are super thin um, and I, I get to, to removing things sometimes. Um, so I'm mixing fonts, I'm mixing colors, I'm mixing sizes um, so that it adds, you know, interest and, and kind of reads, um, you know, easily um, without feeling boring or just, you know, just words. Um, so I'm cutting several different sizes of this plastic packaging so that I can really fool around with where I want the words to be placed and, you know, just kind of loosely measuring them out so that they fit and trying not to put too many dark colors near and trying to spread out some of that blue. And then I loved using this little label to just fit the last couple of words on. So now I have pretty much where I want everything to go. And I know that ocean floor is, you know, kind of the main thing. So I'm using these large white alphas and I am just checking to make sure I have enough to um, write the full word out. And uh, so I'm just kind of counting the letters and making sure um, I have enough. And I noticed that I only have one O per set and I have two sets. Um, so I'm going to cheat and use a Q and just cut the little line out so that I have an extra O. Um, but first, we're going to do a little painting. So I'm going to get my watercolors out. And um, I'm going to paint a little bit on the page before I commit to putting down all of the alphas. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this song or not, but um, it's got these kind of just screaming guitars. And um, I just, I always um, loved the idea that, you know, not that I could just sin and get away with it, um, but just that, you know, when we make mistakes, um, he just kind of throws them away, you know, especially when you when you ask for forgiveness or when you know that you were wrong. Um, you know, I think we've all been there and uh, I just, I love, I love that idea that he's still going to love us no matter what we do. All right, so I have drawn another line so that I kind of, grasp a visual of where um, that bottom little label ends and I do want to make the color um, go a little further than just the bottom of that label so I made the line a little bit taller 
And now uh, I should have used gesso, but I was wanting to just, I was excited. <laughs> so I just um, was being hasty and I just wanted to kind of throw uh, the paint on there. But I was smart enough to put my freezer paper behind that so that it didn't bleed through. Um, but I'm just going to use a basic uh, light blue and I moved those little uh, enamel dots over so that I could kind of visually match the, the color. I really just wanted a light blue and then you know just to kind of I don't know kind of like the ocean and then I'm just gonna kind of layer a, a tiny bit darker blue just to add a little bit of dimension and then I'm just gonna blend it together with a little wispy brush. And it dries fairly quickly, um, but, uh, and of course I'm not gonna make you wait. So we're just gonna continue on. Um, I, I, I think I, I uh, end up just letting it dry while I put all my letters down. So I'm gonna take you through this super fast because nobody really wants to see me just placing letters down for five minutes. It really actually took a long time. I'm so glad for video editing. Um, and I'm really actually excited about how this turned out. And I loved just um, being able to focus on a couple colors. And I liked using the grays and the black so that it didn't feel so heavy all the time. And then as I'm putting the letters down, um, I'm, you know, just kind of um, reimagining what, if this is the way that I wanted the page to look and, and it really did turn out the way I wanted. So what I'm doing now when I'm placing the letters down is I'm actually starting from the middle of the phrase and then working my way out instead of starting from the left and going to the right because I've learned many times that um, you will always run out of space <laughs> when you get to the far right. So, And I'm also, because I know I'm short on space, I'm overlapping some of the letters which will end up being pretty cool when you see what I do with it at the end. And here's where I'm cutting the little um, line out of the cue so that I can pretend that it's an O. And I'm just using an X-Acto knife on the inside and it's not perfect, um, but it totally works. And it's something I do a lot also with different letters. If I'm missing an E, because you know E's run out of E's like in five seconds, I will sometimes use a C and then use like another piece of another letter like that I wouldn't use maybe a Z or something and use the line and then place the line in between um, to make an E out of the C. Sometimes you just have to get creative. Okay, so letters are all down and I'm going through some of the little word pieces and just trying to see if there's some phrasing that um, maybe, you know, kind of says what I want it to say. Um, and I put this, this one down and then I had another one that I was going to put right underneath it but felt like, gosh, it's, just, it's so many words um, that I decided to just leave the one there. And then as I'm looking through some of these other ones, I find this... Um, gray ampersand and I end up removing the letters and um, from those blue little dots and then replacing it with the ampersand which works really well. Just felt like it added a little bit of something else. And then there was this kind of a blank spot in between there so I just added a, a little label and um, a heart. And now the next part is to, I'm actually going to ink um, all the way around all these white letters so that they stand out a bit more. And um, I really like how that turned out. And, and I made some mistakes <laughs> because it's, it's, it's just not perfect. Um, and that's okay. But I really love how it stands out against the blue. And because the my Bible pages are kind of a, um, a cream color, the white, like, it just kind of gets flushed out and it doesn't really stand out very much so I think outlining it was a good idea and now um, I'm going to take my water brush and just take that light color blue and just highlight the specific verse and I was really actually so pleased to find that when I flipped to this verse in my bible that the, the page was just completely open 
It's like it was just meant to have all these beautiful words on it. Um, so the very last thing I'm going to do is take a small little label and um, take a blue pen that matches and I'm going to write the name of the artist. So I'm just going to write Audio Adrenaline and I'm going to place it right at the bottom. I end up covering up the um, page number, but that's, that's okay. And then um, I'm going to call it done. So I really hope you have um, enjoyed watching me uh, put words on a page. Um, and if you get a chance, check out that Audio Adrenaline song. Um, it's, it's really great. Anyway, I've had so much fun. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you next time. <laughs>